Hey, mini fish. It's still the 21st of November, and I want to see if you guys can help me make heads or tails of what was placed right in front of me again. Giant swastika unearthed in Germany. Big giant swastika they dug up over there, right? And the funny thing is, I was really, I was just moved to like see how deeply they wanted this throughout, you know, the mindset. And they posted this article everywhere. The Post, in Boston, Newsweek, Sky News, UK Independent, Europe, Fox News, all of them, ABC. They wanted this article out a lot. Okay? And yesterday, it was Manson that was in the front of everybody. And if you look at how this article is formatted, and this is how 90% of them, if you go and look, they were all formatted this way to give you just the information that they wanted to make sure you got. Because they know the average consumer of media, if it even gets clicked, this is about as far as most of them go. So they pound it into your mind what they want you to remember. And for me, it was obviously the 83, the 1969. These things are definitely key. But they also wanted to make absolutely sure that you knew he died at 8.13 p.m. But they had to repeat it for those who can't figure it out as 11.13 p.m. Eastern Time, right? So the 13 and the 13 is what just smacked me in the head when I saw this. The swastika, that was the other main thing that they wanted in front of America. This man probably did more to promote this Satan symbol than the Nazis for crying out loud and what he said about America yeah don't ever underestimate the powers and principalities at work on this earth okay don't ever so yeah 813 1113 giant swastika first off it's one of three 13 but look at this little short little article but all of them all of these make sure that you know that it was 13 feet by 13 feet. And in case you didn't get the message, they wanted you to know that it was buried 1.3 feet deep. The swastika. Okay? Why do they want this out in front of everybody? What does it mean? Well, to me, I mean, 13 is one of those numbers, you guys, that just, I mean, there, there's a lot there. And I'm going to link what, what I found here just in a couple of seconds. Quick searches you can find. I mean, the links to 9-11. And there's a lot to it. And I'll give you this. But uh, for me, it kind of... I actually was drawn to Isaiah 13, the burden of Babylon. And, of course, you need to read this. And there's more, that, of course. But I had to throw this out at you guys. I mean, what are the chances of that, okay? Yesterday, it was Manson in front of everybody, dying at 8.13. Today, it's a giant swastika in front of everybody that's 13 by 13 feet, 1.3 feet deep. You know what I'm saying? And once again, you know, uh, all I see is that we're being clearly told that this spirit, and that's, uh, that's what it equates to, the wicked, dark, evil that we know infests this earth is emerging it is literally this is like they're saying here that's the end of one part of our plan and this is the next phase it's emerging it's manifesting all around us that's what i'm trying to share with you and you need to know jesus christ if you have any chance any chance whatsoever of fighting this. Not to mention your eternal soul. Your very salvation is ready and waiting for you to humbly seek and ask. And you shall find. Okay? Had to share that with you all though. Crazy stuff. Links in the description. <laughs> Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 